All right, so we've already used an alcohol lift pad to create a card, well, actually three, but you can also get reinkers for that pad. And there's a fun technique that you can use these reinkers for with stencils. So we're gonna create this one here. So the very first step is to create the background. So I'm going to spray isopropyl over my whole thing and start dripping my alcohol inks. Now, one thing that I forgot to mention in the first one with the lift pad is you'll notice I'm only using the regular alcohol inks. I'm not using any metallics or pearls for that. And the reason is the lift ink will only lift the regular alcohol inks. It will not lift the pearls. So you can use those pearls and metallics and stuff like that in your alcohol ink prints and lift from those prints. However, any place where there's metallic, it will stay there. It will not lift up. So just be prepared that if you do use a metallic or a pearl or whatnot, that will not lift from your print. And it does create a fun look to it, but if you're wanting, if you're thinking it's going to lift up that, it's not going to. All right. And then you'll also notice that in all of these alcohol ink bases or whatever that we're creating, my, my paper keeps um, catching on the dryer. Um, I'm using the same color order, but not one of these backgrounds is the same as a different one. So that's part of the beauty of alcohol inks is you can use the exact same colors in the exact same order. You're never gonna get the same print. It always is gonna flow a little bit different. You're gonna move the um, your tool in a little bit of a different way. So it's just a fun, fun to see how they flow, to learn how they flow and then create your prints from what you've learned. So I'm gonna do another layer here. I've got a good base layer. I'm trying to get the entire background covered, which I do, but I also wanna build up the ink. There's a, um, a bigger wow factor when you've got lots of ink and then you remove some than if you have just a thin layer and remove it. So I'm just gonna do another layer here and blow that around. And I also like the texture that you get from having multiple layers of ink on here. All right, a lot of that went super thick. Let's just do one more and then that's probably gonna be good. Just want to break up some of these really, really thick parts. And you can go and lift from them, but it's going to take a couple tries to get a good lift from those areas. So I'm just trying to break it up a little bit. I'm not trying to completely get rid of them just because um, I like seeing different darks and lights or whatever, the different textures add to the effect. All right, those aren't moving anymore, so I'm just gonna leave that to dry. So for this one, we used, we have a coordinating sentiment, and the way to do that is stamp and emboss with white embossing powder. I'll show you in the next two cards how to stamp and emboss if you haven't done it. Um, and then all you're gonna do, it has to be on black cardstock because if the background of this is a different color, you're gonna see these inks on the background. So it only works with black 
cardstock and white embossing powder but you can customize your sentiment to go with your card so I am putting the alcohol ink on the whole thing because if you only put alcohol ink just over the powder or the embossing you kind of see a little bit of an outline so by putting the alcohol ink on the whole thing um, it'll just even itself out this needs to be hundred percent dry before you use it if there's any slightly moist alcohol in there it is going to resist any adhesive that you're going to be using to put it on your card so i'm going to let both of these completely dry although i've already got my sentiment for this card done um, i'm going to let this completely dry and then i'll see you to have start lifting <laughs> 